Oh yeah, I, I like my pot. Um, pot was my drug of choice. Um, <laughs> quite, I, I quite liked it a lot. Um, to the extent that, you know, there'd be some mornings when I'd be getting stoned before my feet even hit the floor. You know, wake up, reach for the bud pipe. My introduction to drugs was entirely um, an accident, funnily enough. I'd uh, loaned a mate some money and he paid me back the pot and it was like, what do you want me to do with this? So, I'd get absolutely trashed before I went out to do anything, you know. Oh, Got to go to the supermarket to do the shopping. Well, that's it. Get stoned. Off to go and do the shopping, you know. Oh, I've got to put gas in the car. Get stoned. Off to do. Get. Off to put gas in the car. It definitely became a, a crutch to, to just deal with the world. <laughs> we were having a sesh one day at home, and um, knives are on the stove, and I'm sitting there, and I'm spotting away, and all of a sudden, here there's thump, 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 and then there's bam, 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 bam on the door, and the, do the front door opens, and I'm sitting there, and it's like. Oh shit. And this voice yells out, Search warrant! And I'm standing there, I've got the knives in hand, you know, cone in my mouth, knives in hand. I'm frozen. And the other chickie in the place, uh, and the chickie in the place, she's frozen, absolutely. <gasps> and, you know, the entire place, it looked like a picture. And the flatmate comes around the corner and it's sort of like, You bastard! You know, because I mean, I was fucked, and no matter what happened, I was fucked. There I was. You know, the pot's right beside me. I've got the implements in my hand. I'm in the act of having a smoke. What can you do? Yeah, sure, I'm smoking. Okay, okay, bust me. I regret that I dropped out of uni. It's not biggest regret. The biggest regret, actually, um, was a relationship that cost me. Um, It was kind of funny because when I met her, um, she was dating a guy I knew and um, she'd heard all these stories about this guy, Greg, and she wanted to meet him. And so the first time she met me, there I was, I was at the stove, I was spotting away. It was quite a regular thing. And me being, me being the fucking, me being the druggie that I was, fuck this. So I said to her one day, I said, look, if you want to talk to me about it, wait till I'm straight. Don't do it when I'm stoned. Come on. Don't spoil my buzz. And I said, look, you keep it up and you're going to be gone. You know, I was smoking pot long before I met you. I was smoking pot when I met you. I've smoked pot since, I, since we hooked up. And you keep this shit up, I'll be smoking pot long after you're gone. She's gone. I just kept on smoking pot. I stopped smoking when I moved to fielding. Um, because I didn't know anybody down here, so I couldn't score. And then I got lucky and I managed to, I did a couple of shady deals and as you do. So um, it's been about, so I dropped off the wagon a couple of times and since I've been here. So six to eight months since the last time I got stoned and each time it was definitely a reminder of why I wanted to stop. Every day is a new day and even now I still have the odd pang, not just for pot, but for some of the other drugs I've taken. Even now, I still have the odd, that'd be nice. But it's a case of every day, just reminding yourself, stay strong. You can use drugs to help you cope. You don't deal. It just gives you a, a shell that you can hide behind. It allows you to bury these things deep but they're still there, they're still festering, they're still consuming you on the inside.